Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, so we're trying something a little bit different today, and uh, we're gonna so pull out your uh, lesson 4.4 matching equations in graphs sheet. Uh, this is blue, and what our goal today is to be able to use points to match equations with their graphs. All right. So there's a couple different ways to do this, and as you'll see here, we have a line on a graph, and we don't know the equation, but we we have some equations right here that we are gonna see which one matches that line. All right, so <clears throat> there's a couple ways to do this. And strategy one, so if you'd like to write this down, strategy number one, all right? And there's a couple parts to this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at our line and look for some exact coordinates. So look at line and find some exact coordinates all right so let's look oh we have one right there that's an exact coordinate of and we always write our X first and then our Y and we've got negative 1 and 0 Y that's that coordinate okay so we could use that one and we've got negative 1 and 0 another point that lands on this line let's see if we can find one. Oh, look at that We've got 0 and 3. Okay, we can use that one. Notice I always write my x first and then my y second. And then we've got a third point, and you only really need two, but we're going to get a third one just for fun. And our third one, oh, look at that, right there. And we have negative 2 and negative 3 y. All right, so let's put that point in there. And we have negative 2 and negative 3. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to use these points. So our next step of this strategy is we're going to use these points from our line um, and substitute into each equation. All right, and so that's going to help us find um, which, which um, equation is correct. All right, so that's strategy one. Strategy, well, let's let's work strategy one out, okay? So we've got the first one, y equals 3 minus x, all right? And let's use some strategy, let's use one of our points here. x is negative 1, so we're going to use that coordinate, negative 1 and 0. We've got x and y, so let's put that in, and if it, satisfies it. If it's on the graph, then it'll satisfy. All right, so 3 minus negative 1. And according to this, it should equal 0. Does it? 0 equals, uh oh it equals 4. So guess what? Does not work. All right, let's try another one. We've got y equals 3x plus 3. And we're going to use negative 1 and 0. And we're going to substitute that in. So we've got 3 times negative 1 plus 3, and this should equal 0 if it satisfies it. And we get 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 3 equals 0. That is correct. Now we have to do our last one as well. All right. And so let's try this one out. We've got y equals 3x minus 3. We're going to use negative 1 and 0. We could have used any one of these points as well. So y equals 3 and negative 1 minus 3. So altogether we get negative 3 minus 3. Does that equal 0? No. It equals negative 6. All right. So our only equation that works is this equation. So what we did was we looked for points on the line um, and found the exact coordinates. We wrote them down. And then we use these points from our line and substitute them into the equation. Now, turns out there's strategy two. And strategy two is we make up make up a table of values for each equation. And plot it.
plotted on the graph. All right, so what we're going to do then is we're going to take our first equation, and it is y equals 3 minus x. Whenever, whenever we make a table of values, we go x and y, and there's always three numbers to make it as easy as possible. We use 0, 1, and 2. All right? So those are the numbers we're going to substitute in for x to get y. Remember, our dependent variable is y, and our independent variable, which controls the dependent variable, is x. Okay, so we're going to go y equals 3 minus 0. So that would be 3 minus 0 is 3. Then we have y equals 3 minus 1, and that equals 2. Then we have y equals 3 minus 2, and that equals 1. We can check to see if those satisfy. So 0 and 3, look at that. 0 and 3. x is 0, y is 3. That fits it. Okay. That's okay. 1 and 2. Uh-oh. 1 and 2 does not fit it. And then 2 and 1. Uh-oh. That is not my line. All right. That's a totally different line. All right. Now we're going to go and do our table of values for the next one. We're running out of room here, so I'm going to just erase some stuff. I'm going to erase this one. Hopefully you have that down and you've left enough space. And we're going to try the second one. And we won't do the third one because we'll know how to do it by then. All right. So our second one was y equals 3x plus 3. We're going to make our table of values, x and y, and we're going to use 0, 1, 2. 0 in for x, so we get 3 times 0 plus 3, we get 3. Then we go 3 times 1 plus 3 equals, oh, 6. And then we get 3 and we put in 2. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9. Right? We go back onto our grid. And we look for 0 and 3. Oh, it fits. 1 and 6. 1 and 6 is, oh, look at that. It fits. And then we've got 2 and 9. And look at that. It will run right up to the top there. All right. So we've got our two strategies. Strategy 1 is we look at a line and find the exact coordinates. And we use those points from our line and substitute into the equation. All right. Strategy two is we make a table of values for each equation and plot it on the graph to see if it matches. All right. All right, let's try another example down there. And this asks, which graph is a match for the equation 2x minus 3y equals 6? How do you know? Well, you know what, you guys? We could... Um, find some pot splots on those ah, points on those graph. But I'm going to use strategy 2 for this one, and we're going to go 2x minus 3y equals 6. And we're going to make a table of values. Let's put in 0, 1, and 2. So if I put a 0 in for x, I'm going to get 2 times 0 minus 3y equals 6. This goes to 0, and we're left with negative 3y equals 6. Divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3, and we get y equals 2, negative. All right. Then we're going to put 2 times 1 in, minus 3y equals 6. This go Now we get 2 minus 3y equals 6. We subtract 2 subtract 2, and we get negative 3y equals 4. Divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3, and y equals negative 1 and 1 third. And finally, oh, you know what? Let's look. Let's look. We don't really, we need two points. So let's look on our graph, 0 and negative 2. Let's see which one satisfied 0 and negative 2. Okay, we'll put it in blue. 0 and negative 2 is right there. Right. 0 and negative 2 is right there. And 0 is negative 2 right there. We satisfy both of those. Okay, so this one is out. Now what we need to do is 1 and negative 1 and the third. So 
one x and negative one in the third is going to be right about there. Uh oh, that one does it. And then we have one and oh, doesn't satisfy. That one's out. This is our only one. I really like to use that strategy number two. So what do we have then? A point that satisf satisfies the equation will lie on the line. A point that lies on the line will satisfy the equation. All right. So we have some questions to do. We need all of these done because uh, we can't just do A, C, E because each question uses each option. A, B, C, D, E. All right. Good luck.